the magic of yield on cost for dividend investors. To truly appreciate dividend investing, one must understand the relationship between the dividend cash payments and dividend yield. Over time, we will call this the yield on cost. Using our familiar Canadian bank example, we know that predictable and growing earnings create growing dividends which result in higher share valuations and wealth. This is simple enough, but the average investor doesn't find it easy because there are too many emotional forces at work making it difficult to put into practice. Understanding the investment principles of dividends can go a long way to combating these emotions. In late 2008, this company was trading at about $50 per share and paid a 50 cent dividend per share per quarter. For $50, you could buy 50 cents of cash flow every three months. Annually, your $50 share will provide you $2 of income. This creates an investment yield of 4%. What is more, however, is this 50 cents per share paid per quarter is likely to grow. Even better, your total return on your initial investment will grow as the share price also rises. Then, panic hits. Fears of recession, the media wanting to sell bad news has us convinced we should all sell our shares as they plummet to $30. But shares are traded in a market. There are buyers and sellers. For every seller, there's a buyer. True investors are willing to buy these shares at $30 when they're confident the dividend will remain at 50 cents per quarter and eventually increase again. The investor who buys or buys more shares at $30 does not have a yield of 4% like the investor who bought at $50. Instead, because the yield is calculated by the dividend paid per share, the $30 share paying a 50 cent dividend or $2 per year creates a yield of 6.67%. That is a good investment on its own, assuming the share price and dividend remain unchanged for years. But, as we have seen, the dividend will increase over time. By early 2014, this company's dividend has increased to 71 cents per share. Our $2 per year dividend is now $2.84. For the investor who bought the right to this cash flow for $30, your yield on cost has increased from 6.67% to 9.46%. This investor bought shares a few years ago that now yield 9.46%, and this will continue to increase as the dividend rises. The magic of yield on cost is lost in all the statements and conversations about investing. One reason why we forget is because this bank's share price is now trading at about $75. When we see our investment statements showing a $75 share price and 71 cent dividend, we see a dividend yield of only 3.7%. And we forget that we only paid $30 for that $2.84 of annual income. For more on investing and financial planning, visit our website.